Mother Agnes, thank you for joining us here on the phone. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what is going on with the Islamic War. What do you know? What can you tell us? The events in uh, Syria have been uh, uh, preceded by uh, other events uh, that were uh, framed in uh, the so-called Arabic Spring. What really happened in the Arabic world, my dear, was not a spring. Today we are talking about not only a winter, but really a hell. Mm -hmm. Something hellish has come down uh, on this world. Today we have uh, a shadow, a shadow authority or a shadow non a lawless authority, which is all this terrible network of uh, Al-Qaeda, of ISIS, mm -hmm. uh, Boko Haram, uh, that are spreading not only violence, it's real horror. It's not even terror. It's more. It's horror. The horror is being inflicted by jihadists who now control large swaths of Iraq, Syria, and Libya. Mother Agnes explains that it's the same pattern. The government is ousted by the so-called Arab Spring. The country falls into chaos, and then the Islamists take over. This is the biggest calamity to mm -hmm. remain without a government, to remain without a state, to remain without an authority, to remain without a law. Today, when we look at the democracy that was supposed to rise in uh, Libya after all what happened, what do we see? We see destruction, we see chaos, we mm -hmm. see confusion, we see the rise of extremism. Today in Libya, like now in Syria, uh, evil is unleashed because the international community that is supposed to protect the world order uh, has left situation to develop where human rights, international laws, and uh, human international, uh, humanitarian international laws are put in a corner. They let the chaos come out. And with this chaos, you have a hidden network of uh, fundamentalism, of terror uh, that is instillated, uh, infunded inside this country, and that we, that's what we have. Under the terrorist rule in Libya, 21 Coptic Christians were beheaded for no reason other than their belief in Christ. As a key figure in the Middle East, often involved in tense negotiations, Mother Agnes is closely following the kidnapping of what she thinks is 120, but could be as many as 300 women, children, and elders in the Hazakay province of Syria. One of the members of her church is among the captives. She is speaking with those who escaped the attack to try to piece together the whole story. We don't know if they have been beheaded or not the same way as our 21 Coptic brothers, witnesses, they have seen a lot of jets uh, flying around, but they didn't do anything mm -hmm. uh, during the attack of the villages. In reality, what is done uh, is not really uh, as much as uh, it should be. The uh, governor of Hasake uh, told us that uh, the Arabic notables mm -hmm. uh, from the city Mm -hmm. uh, went uh, in uh, a delegation uh, to meet with uh, the ISIS leader uh, mm -hmm. to uh, claim, uh, to negotiate the release of uh, those victims. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday by night, a lot of um, uh, media, uh, social media, uh, they uh, were, uh, you know, informing uh, about the beheading of those 120 mm. uh, hostages. Mm -hmm. But today we are not sure. Mother Agnes has a warning for the entire world. Militant Islam is coming, and it's coming soon. It is coming to uh, to Europe. We had uh, bad uh, events in France. Every day you hear things in Austria, in Germany, and today, tomorrow maybe in the United States. The killing of those Christian workers is a, a, like a symbol mm -hmm. of what can uh, happen anywhere today in the globe. Because somehow those who are in charge of the earth are not really uh, faithful to their mm -hmm. duty. 
Mother Agnes also has a message for the killers and for the international community who stands by and allows the slaughter. History will judge you. You will be judged by your creator. Mm -hmm. So please stop. It's enough. Mother Agnes, thank you so much. I mean, you are God in our prayers. You. you and the Syrian people are in our thoughts, are in our prayers. Best wishes to you. Thank you for your prayers. God bless you. God bless you as well.